If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, here are the percents of people in several age groups who bought music online in 2019. Explain why it is not correct to use a pie chart to display these data. Make a bar graph of the data using Minitab. Smash that like button and let's get started. So in order to explain why we don't want to use a pie chart to display these data, let's take a look at what the data represents. It says that of the 12 to 17 year olds, 24% of them bought music online. And similarly, 21% of 18 to 25 year olds and so on. What this does not say is that 24% of the entire music buying population was 12 to 17 year olds. If that was the case, then we would use a pie chart. But that's not what it says. It's saying out of all of the seven, 12 to 17 year olds, 24% of them bought music online. Okay, and so now if we wanna plot this with a bar graph, what we do is we go over here to graphs, we get bar chart, and we're going to use the summarized values for each category in a table. And we'll do simple. So we need a summary variable, that's going to be the percent that bought music online, and a categorical variable. Well, that's our age group. We input those two, and ta-da, we get our bar chart. The x-axis is the age groups, the y-axis is the percent who bought music online. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive, bye-bye.